Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. Welcome to the News at 9. Alice Gaynor has the night off. Authorities grabbed a man they say tried to get into the Picatinny Arsenal. That's an Army facility in Morris County, New Jersey. Authorities tell us the person drove up to the gate and security officers noticed something suspicious. They sent the facility into lockdown and that all backed up traffic for miles. Weijia Jang is live in Dover tonight with the latest on the investigation. Weijia. Oh, Dick and Dana, after a frightening afternoon around 5.30 today, officials here gave an all-clear saying they did not find an explosive device inside of that truck. However, they detained and questioned the driver for several hours because they say they found other suspicious items inside. U.S. military officials are still questioning the driver of an unauthorized vehicle who tried to access the Picatinny Arsenal around 11.30 a.m. by entering the Army compound through a truck gate. It's a frightening time we're living in. Local, state, and federal response teams, including the FBI, treated the situation as a potential bomb threat. Just before 2 p.m., they evacuated all employees, some 6,000 of them, mostly civilians. Roads and airspace surrounding the compound were shut down for several hours, causing severe backups on Route 80 and beyond. I had to take back roads, and even the back roads are jam. It's packed all over. In neighboring townships like Wharton, some people are still shaken over the scare. It definitely worried me. My neighbors were talking about how um, the bomb could, you know, like get like travel, you know, and be like a really like big one. So I was afraid even just coming home being so close. It it definitely worried me. But others say Picatinny should be an attacker's last target given the amount of security measures obviously in place. It is pretty scary, but I know that the government does their best to keep things safe because I've had my car. They go under with the mirrors. They'll ask you to get out. They'll inspect your car. U.S. military officials are not releasing any details about those other suspicious items they are looking at or about the driver saying that's all part of their investigation. Live in Dover Township tonight, Weijia Jang, TV 1055. Thank you, Weijia.